Rob here with T1G. Next thing we're gonna discuss is shooting into a vehicle through the glass. There's two different types of glass on these stateside cars on the soft skin unarmored vehicles is we have a side safety glass and a front and rear windshield layered tempered glass. We're gonna first shoot the side safety glass. It's safety glass because the Department of Transportation here in the States says that if there's any, if there happens to be an impact that you're going to not be impaled by the glass, that the glass is gonna break up in the fine particles and basically just fall to the ground. Now, once we shoot it, you should see it spider out and then fall. Also notice that there's no tint on the glass. If you have tint, the tint will keep the glass particles together and it may not drop as non-tinted glass will. And we also have a dummy inside of the vehicle as a target, as a point of aim. So let's go ahead and uh, fire a couple rounds and we'll see what happens to the glass. All right, now that we shot the dummy through the side safety glass of this vehicle, we'll come up and we'll take a closer look. And you'll notice how the glass just shattered and just breaks apart in fine particles. Like I said, this is stateside Department of Transportation safety glass on the side of a vehicle to make sure that the person inside on impact isn't impaled with any glass. If you notice that as soon as the first couple rounds hit and went through, it all the glass dropped down to the ground. That way, now we don't have a medium. Now our bullet's going true. Now we're gonna go around to the front of the vehicle and shoot the front windshield, which is gonna be a different type of glass. Now that we're around the front of the vehicle, we're gonna be shooting through the front windshield. It's gonna be a little bit different because of the type of glass. The type of glass it is, it's two layers of glass with a piece of laminate in the middle, basically melted, glued, pressed together. All right, so unlike the side of the safety glass where it's gonna shatter and drop, what we're gonna to try to do here is because of the angle of the glass, we're gonna to try to create a hole and then shoot through the hole. We don't want our bullet to hit anything when it leaves the barrel other than the target. Anything that it hits, it'll deflect. So if I can start a good hole going, then I want to start shooting through the hole. Let's get a closer look and see what happens to the glass. You'll notice how when we shoot, it doesn't shatter and drop like the side does. What we want to do is we want to shoot out a hole and then shoot from the hole. Similar to shooting from the inside out is the same thing from shooting outside to in. If we can create a hole and shoot through the hole, there's no deflection of our round once it hits that medium of the glass. Next thing we're going to cover is we're going to put a layer of armored glass up here and we're going to shoot it with a 5.56 penetrator round and see how many rounds it takes in a close proximity to start penetrating through the armored glass. So now that we're at the front of the vehicle, what you can see is we kicked the normal front windshield out of this vehicle and then we dropped in some ballistic glass. We're gonna go ahead and fire about 10 to 15 rounds, try to create a hole and see how many rounds it takes to actually break through this ballistic glass, just in case you're ever in that position where you need to get at somebody inside of an armored vehicle. We have just standard green tip 5.56. Let's go ahead and go take a look and see if we got anything that penetrated. All right, so what that was is that was a total of 10 green tip 5.56 rounds, and you could see how the armored glass takes it. Now what this is, this isn't any different than your standard front windshield of a vehicle. It's just a lot wider, so it's layered. Here we have about, appears to be about seven or eight layered front windshields, and that's what stops and slows down the, the round. But as you can see, same thing with the glass with the front windshield you want to create a weak spot create a hole and then continue to shoot through the hole we did a total of 10 rounds i thought i got through around round six but we started to shoot a couple more times just to hit the sound guy's bag in the back seat shouldn't have put it there but we thought the armor glass was going to do it now we're going to come around back to take a look at the back side of the glass so you can see what happens to the glass the ballistic glass when the round hits it
So you can see the wounds on our dummy here, and then you guys got a chance to take a look at the inside of the ballista glass as the rounds came through. So we took you from the side safety glass to the front windshield temper glass and then the layered ballistic glass. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.